Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is a Rust video. So, um, I started working with Rust in production in 2019, uh, two years uh, ago. And fr from there, uh, I never stopped uh, learning. Um, I, may, I, I did uh, two courses on Udemy, one by the Dimitri and Struck, another one by Packet. Um, which, by the way, I published a book uh, in Packet, uh, Building Applications with Scala, and also I had done uh, a video series about building effective microservices with uh, Netflix OSS uh, in Java Stack. Um, and, um, you know, I was looking at some of my uh, old POCs, and, uh, you know, I thought, oh, man, this is a good thing about Rust, you know? And then I, I thought about, okay, so I make a video, and I want to show uh, some tricks in Rust because, um, you know, it's a cool uh, language and I think, you know, has uh, lots of uh, potential to grow. Um, so uh, I want to show some uh, things in action. Uh, uh, th this could be a very fairly uh, complicated program, but in Rust it is uh, fairly easy. Uh, of course, um, the cool technique here is um, you know pattern matching and actually we could done uh, this exactly code in Scala uh, fairly easily as well right but uh, um, nevertheless Rust has uh, amazing performance um, so let's uh, take a look so here um, we will not be using any library um, let me open my idea and uh, you can see in my uh, cargo.tomel that I really don't have any uh, dependencies here, right? So really just relying on the standard uh, language itself. And um, we're gonna do some sort of a parser or state machines. And uh, I learned that in one of these uh, Udemy courses that I mentioned to you guys I did uh, years ago. Um, so basically, uh, here you want the ability to um, let's say um, you know put some characters in uppercase or lowercase or even uh, comment uh, them out right so um, lowercase will be done when you do an underscore before uh, your word or a set of characters and another one at the end uppercase is gonna be when you do this uh, character here in the beginning and in the end and of course um, the sharp right or uh, is lack uh, icon or um, you know if you play guitar in Brazil sustenido um, it means uh, I want to comment out from here now on right and basically we're gonna do a state machine right so um, we start with a normal state then we're gonna get our processed string uh, in, in Rust, by default, everything is immutable, so you need to make it mutable. And then I have this string that we want to transform. Uh, and then basically we're going to go over every character. And then for each character we uh, scan, uh, there will be a pair, a tuple uh, coming back, which it going to be an optional share, which is the output, and a new state. And... Um, there's a cyclic state machine that we're going to be calling passing uh, the reference of the state there in the character. And then if there is some character, um, this is one of the cool uh, Rust features. You can do E flat, right? So if there's some character, um, you know, uh, as output uh, put here, otherwise, you know, just move on and don't bother. So uh, basically, um, we're looking... Uh, the output and basically you know uh, the, the processed string we are adding um, you know the character there as if that computation can provide some sort of a meaning right and then the state gets the new state and then we'll move on and then uh, you know all the processing result gonna be on the processing string and then at the end we just printed it right and the core of the thing is here um, in our sort of a state machine and then our state uh, it has the normal state means well there's nothing for me to do 
comment that we want to comment out we want to strip out uppercase we want to make it uppercase lowercase we want to make a lowercase right so uh, our, our cyclic state machine uh, we receive an instance of a state and a character and we're gonna return a tuple with um, optional or option uh, char that maybe maybe not exist and I state and then uh, we do a pattern matching with all the transitions and this code uh, it could be tricky uh, to understand the first time but actually is not complicated at all what happens is like all uh, the transitions are here and you need to keep in mind that this loop is going to be called multiple times right so uh, although some transition might not make sense here uh, for the next loop uh, it might be do and also you need to remember we have this e flat if there is none nothing happens so you don't need to do anything right and that's what happens sometimes right so here we say okay if i see the state normal uh and i see a, a hash it means well um you know i'm not uh, producing any uh character all right so that's why it's known um, because we want to cut it out, right? And the state that we want to transit, it means next time, evaluate me as a comment, right? If, if we see this character, we also don't want to return anything and, you know, evaluate me as upper. If we see the underscore, again, not producing any character and see me as lower, right? So we have comment upper and lower um, to be processed, but before, um, you know, if we see normal and is any other char, meaning um, this um, pattern matching uh, operation here is, is strategical, it is on the right place because if it's the order matters here, right? So if it's not a hash, if it's not this character and if it's not an underscore, well, whatever it is, is fine. And then I just gonna return it back, meaning, okay, some other meaning okay uh, you pass me anything which is valid all right and that's normal right then we move on all right so uh, that's what does here and then we need now deal with uh, comment upper and lower so for comment well if i see the status comment and your character is this uh well then you know i'm not doing anything and that's normal if I see a comment and there are char characters this, which is uh, you want to lowercase, well, again, I'm gonna do nothing and still persist in a comment. Um, now, um, you know, if this is upper, right, and I see this character, then, you know, I'm not returning anything and that's normal, right? But now, if I see upper, meaning, you know, the first character you're gonna see is this, and after that, you're gonna see a ladder, right? Well, if I'm seeing that ladder, well, um, I, I really want to return that, right? But when I return, I'm not returning um, normally like I just did some um, char here, but also, um, you know, getting the char to ask you uppercase and returning the state as upper, right? And lower, if I see the state lower and the character it is this, well, then, um, you know, I'm not doing anything in normal because I want to strip this out, right? And in the end uh, final string, I don't want to have this character. That's why we need to return on, meaning, okay, you swallow that character because a meta character, right? Um, but if I see lower and there is anything else, well, then whatever is there, um, we need to be able to actually um, make that thing as lowercase, right? And uh, this works because the, the character is both like the, the beginning and uh, the end, right? And that's how it works uh, in space, sort of a separator for this case. Um, if we run this application, you see that perfectly it works. So we see this um, is and is was uppercase here and you can see it became lower and input was in, it was lower and needs to be upper and you see here is upper and then the whole comment was striped out so you see it worked pretty fine so this is um, 
um, you know, fairly complex program, but thanks to the this trick with a pattern matching, uh, you know, E flat, uh, we could make this in Rust uh, very easy, uh, and you can see the power of Rust here. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. Uh, see you next time. Take care. Cheers.